I'm on my way to work and I am a little stressed out. Um, I'm trying to keep a lid on it. Uh, well, I don't know, man. I gotta chill out basically because like freaking out about it is not going to make, you know, the situation better. It's just gonna stress me out more. Um, so I just need to basically take a deep breath. A couple of deep breaths. So here we go. This is gonna be the deep breath. I'm gonna do it in from my nose, out from my mouth. Ready? Here we go. One, two, three. Deep breaths help me a lot. Um, and I used to very much poo poo the idea of like deep breathing. I was like, yeah, okay, whatever. That's not gonna do anything. But like, I, I swear to God, like when I do. Uh, three deep breaths in a row, and it's probably the, the surplus oxygen, but I kind of get like a really, or not really, but like kind of like a very low euphoric effect. Um, I, it's very calming, and, and I imagine, like I said, I, I think that's because of the, uh, the excess oxygen going into my brain, but it helps, you know. Um, I have a lot to do, uh, and I'm trying to figure out the time in which I can do it. And it, things are only uh, made better by the fact that my mother, I totally forgot, my mother went to Florida last night. Like, I, I mean, like she had told me before earlier in the week, but you know, tell me something earlier in the week and I completely forget it by the week's end. And um, so she went to Florida. So like that means animal duty is my uh, responsibility. And that is, uh, that's a joy. Um, because my mother has 7,000 animals, and so, and they all have their all, their crazy routines, so, um, oh well. I'm not complaining, I'm trying not to complain, because, you know, it's, it's done, it's over with, there's no point in complaining about it now, you know, uh, I got through it, and I got past it, and with the homework thing, and being squeezed for time, I'm gonna get through it, I'll get past it, you know, that's the way I look at it, like, uh, that's the prevailing notion. Like I, I entertain, you know, feelings of being overwhelmed, just as, just as, just like anybody else does. You know, I'm not a robot, although I wish I was. Um, that'd be cool. Uh, <laughs> but, um, but I'll get through it. Um, and and basically, what it boils down to is like, if I don't finish something for school, one grade, one bad grade is not going to kill. I, I set out with the goal this semester to get straight A's, and I will get straight A's, uh, or I'll get something very close to it. Um, but I want to get straight A's in all my classes. Um, but even if I miss an assignment, it's not going to kill me. And even if I don't get an A, it's not going to kill me. There are much, much, much more important things in this world than grades. Um, and I don't mean just you in that. You know, equation. I'm not just referring to you. Um, there, because like outside of the college academic setting, uh, grades don't mean anything. So you know, if I go, uh, if I go to, um, you know, to work, or if I go to, uh, sorry, there's like a lot of like preteen girls like doing a car wash, and it's always like really disturbing. You know, uh, and I never understood the notion of that. Like, it's very kind of like latent sexuality going on there, and it seems as if like the preteen girls and the, the group or the like the Cub Scout squad uh, are like playing into it, which is I don't know, man. It's just weird. Um, but anywho, uh, uh, like say if I go to work or something, nobody cares if I got an A. You know, if I come home, nobody cares if I got an A. You know, none of that stuff matters. So, anyways, that's it. Uh, I feel better now, actually, like talking about it and, and kind of like getting it out there. Uh, I feel better. So, uh, anywho, uh, I'm gonna call you. I'm gonna try to call you right now. Uh, I think you might be having your own overwhelming day. Uh, maybe I can make that better. 